गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट दिस इज आवर हिस्ट्री क्लास एंड आवर चैप्टर नंबर टेन इज गोइंग ऑन द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज द मॉरन एम्पायर सो सो इन आवर प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव स्टडी अबाउट द चंद्रगुप्त मौर्य बिंदुसारा अशोका एंड द मेन फीचर ऑफ द मॉरन एम्पायर सम फीचर्स ऑफ द मॉरन एम्पायर we have discussed in our last class in our previous class now some more features of the modern empire we are going to discuss in today's class so student page number 93 trade the trade and commerce flourished during the modern age trade organized themselves into the guilds and carried on both inland and overseas trade कारवान ट्रेड्स और मर्चेंट ट्रेडर्स मूव फ्रॉम वन पार्ट ऑफ द कंट्री टू अनदर पार्ट बाई कैरिंग लार्ज क्वान्टिटीज ऑफ गुड्स थ्रो सिल्क रूट नाउ पंच मार्क सिल्वर कॉइन वॉट इज पंच मार्क सिल्वर कॉइन फॉर द ट्रेड वर यूज बाय द मॉरन एम्पायर दैट सिल्वर कॉइन इज यूज बाय द मॉरन एम्पायर फॉर ट्रेडिंग पर्पसेज such coins have been found at many sites in india patliputra ujjaini takshila and boroch were important indian trade centers overseas trade were was carried on with the rome egypt china sri lanka malaya peninsula as well as greece a highway connected takshila with patliputra continue to the port of tamra lipitti on the ganga gangas delta from where ships sailed to south east asia country the road ran through mountain passes from takshila to central asia in the trade also flourished in southern india conch shell diamonds precious stone pearls and gold articles were the main trading items that are the main trading items trade with north western countries was mainly carried out on articles like woolen cloths silk spices and exotic foods so that kind of things were exports like cloths silk spices masale the exotic foods that are all now art and architecture modern art and architecture represented an important addition in india art from use of wood to stone was greatly inspired by the buddhist stupas monolithic pillars monasteries viharas caves and sculpted figures as many as 84000 stupas were built throughout the kingdom of ashoka surrounded by railings these were solid semi circular dome like st- structures made of stone and bricks and had many gateways relics of buddha or buddhist monks like here tooth etc were kept at the base of the this stupa Sanchi Stupa near Bhopal is the most famous stupa it is also called the great stupa the top of the dome was decorated by a wooden or stone umbrella which denotes the universal supremacy of dharma monasteries were the place where the buddhist monk lived and studies these were adorned with the sculpture and the monolithic stone pillar built by ashoka are the best specimen of the mauryan art carved out of the solid rock surface of these pillars were highly polished these pillars had beautiful curved top which were called capitals most of these pillars bear carved figures of the animals and the figures on the pillars are of the animals now the sarnath pillar is the most famous monolithic pillar it is well polished pillar and is 23 meter high 
and is 23 meter high it shines in the sunshine the capital of the pillar is adorned with carved animal figures of the four line which are sitting back to back facing four direction four dharm chakra or wheels are presented at the base of each of these lines printed picture of the line capital is found on the indian currency note and the wheel which has 24 spokes adopted for national flags of india these wheels represent motion and progress now about the society we get information of the mauryan society from the book indica by megasthenes and arthashastra of the kautilya now according to megasthenes the upper classes that is the brahma the kshatriya and the vaishya continued to enjoy their privileged position it was the largest group the lower class consisted of shudra that is the farmers the artisans and the labor class used to serve the upper class they used to serve the upper class means they are doing the chores of the upper class the work of the upper class now the decline of the mauryan empire after the death of the ashoka in around 232 bc the decline of the mauryan empire started although the dynasty uh, continued for another 50 years the rulers were not strong and robust like the earliest mauryan empire they were unable to manage the administration of such a large empire the far away provinces and viceroys or governor took advantage of the situation and the and declared their independence another immediate cause was the partition of empire into two with the passage of time the administration weakened as a result of this the complex network of road was neglected which adversely affected trade and commerce between the different regions the irregular inflow of the revenue and decline in the finances made it difficult to maintain a large army brihadratha was the last ruler of the mauryan dynasty he ruled over a small area he was killed by his commander in chief pushya mitra sang in 18 Uh, mean 185 bc his death ended the mauryan rules and started the sangha dynasty so student that's all from today's class and by this class this chapter is finished in our next class i will send the exercise of this chapter and the question answer related to this chapter till then read the chapter if you have any problem you can ask me thank you and have a nice day